thank you so much for tuning in again. Um, I have had so much fun starting this whole YouTube adventure and this is my signature makeup look. It's kind of a long video and I really tried to squish it all together but I wanted to make sure you saw every single thing that I used and um, yeah, so let's check it out. Okay, so first of all is of course a primer. I prime my entire face under my eyes all the way down to my neck. Next, I love my Giorgio Armani liquid foundation. And I'm really obsessed with this brush that I found from Ulta. It just applies my makeup so smoothly and flawlessly. I also always make sure that I blend my makeup all the way down into my neck. So here we go, just the makeup. Now I'm going to apply my concealer. I use a concealer by MAC underneath the eyes. I always do a few shades lighter than my actual foundation and then blend it all in with this beauty blender. Next I take my foundation brush and I just blend my foundation into the concealer. Oops, <laughs> slipped out of my hand. But next I do a setting powder. I love the Makeup Forever setting powder. I start in my most oily spots and then blend all the way out. And now I'm prepping my eyebrows. I just brush through my eyebrows quickly. And then I use an angled brush to apply a dark brown eyeshadow. I ran out of my eyebrow pencil, so I'm using an eyeshadow to fill in my eyebrows. I usually start from the top or bottom and then blend all the way into the middle. And I have to kind of create an arch because my eyebrow doesn't naturally have an arch. So I do the same thing on both sides. This one is gonna be super, super quick just to give you the idea of what I do. Okay, so the eyebrows are on. Next, we are moving on to eyeshadow. Obviously, my Naked palette is super old, but I love it and I still have eyeshadow left in it, so I use it. This is the gold from the Naked palette one. I apply it to the lid and whatever is left over to the brow bone. This is kind of a light burgundy and I used to be terrified of it, but now I'm obsessed. It's a really good, Eyeshadow, especially if you have brown, hazel, green eyes, it goes really well. I blend it actually above the crease of my eye, and it's kind of a long process, that's why I sped it up, but I just go back and forth, back and forth to really get the blending really well. And if I ever feel like I need to adjust any, I just adjust it with my finger. From here, I'm taking this smaller crease brush using an actual purple, I love this, blending the purple into the crease of my eye. I go back and forth on both sides until I get a bit of a darker hue. This will kind of give me an evening red carpet look. And ew! Ooh, finger full of eyeshadow, yuck. So anywho, I go back and forth, blending it really into the crease and all the way down into the lash line on the bottom. I love to take my darker color and blend it into my lash line. And then dust off anything I need to with another brush. I take this bigger crease brush and I blend all of my colors together. I really don't like there to be different lines between the colors, they have to blend together. I usually use a black cream eyeliner with a really small angled brush. I'm gonna get nice and close on this so you can see how I do it. But I use the angled brush to get a really smooth line and if I ever do mess up, which I'm about to, it's no problem, I just blend it back into the mistake and it works out. And you can see right there, I just made a little mistake, but I add more black eyeliner and blend right on into my mistake and you would never know. We're gonna go super, super, super fast on this side just so that you can see the full eyeliner process on both sides. And then I also line my inner waterline on the top. Yes, it kind of looks creepy, but I love how it makes my eyes look. Next is mascara. We all know how to do mascara, not too much explanation for that. And I also do my bottom lashes as well. Next is falsies. Oh my gosh, I have to have false eyelashes for my signature look. I love these ones. These are by Flutter. Make sure you let the glue dry before you put it on your, oh, 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 yuck. <laughs> What's going on with my hair? Don't mind me licking my fingers, sorry. But yes, have to let the glue dry before putting it on till it's really tacky. Then what I like to do is just set my eyelash on and then I adjust it with tweezers. Also what you're gonna see me doing right here is I go through and I actually take the tweezer and clamp the 
here it is. I clamp the lash line all the way down to my lashes. So I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. Always like to make sure the lash has a good shape and then the drying game. Let it dry, place it on, and adjust it with the tweezers just as I did before. And ta-da, pretty lashes. Next is contour, contour. I use this bronzing powder by MAC. I blend where I want my cheekbones to be and I press the brush just like that so I can get a really small line and then I blend into my hairline and oh, my hair again, ay ay ay. Also think of the shape of a three when putting on your contour and then I'm gonna contour my nose by pinching the brush and just doing the line that I want for my nose. Ta-da, contour. Next, super, super, super important is the Orgasm Blush by NARS. I blend my blush into the contour. That's how I soften out that contour line and get the blush and contour to go really well together. Of course, highlight. I highlight the center of my nose. I highlight above my cheeks, right above the blush. Ooh, I love Daniel. Cameo by the hubby. This is my favorite lip liner ever. I line my lips right on the very, very outer edge. I don't like to overline, but I just make sure I line right, right on the outer edge of my lips so they look really, really full. This is a fun lipstick. It's a really nice bright color, so it gives my look a little bit more of a pop. And I don't really apply it super hard. I just kind of dab it on and then blend in with my finger. I always finalize my look with a little bit of Studio Fix powder. I am a super, super, super shiny, oily person, so I like to just set everything down once I'm completely done with a Studio Fix powder. Oh yeah, and I always think I'm done, and then once I have lashes on, I realize I need to go a little bit darker. So I bring a little bit more pop of a color underneath my lash line, and then even a darker color right on top of almost the waterline. Then I'll take a darker mauve purple and really deepen the color of my eyeshadow. I always think I have it dark enough and then I put on lashes and realize that I could go a little bit darker, especially if I'm hitting a red carpet or know that I'm gonna have my photos taken. Ta-da, what do you guys think? Even though this is a makeup tutorial, I thought I would quickly show you how I do my hair. There are times where I just don't feel like doing a full-on hair situation, so I will quickly curl my hair. I actually have a full tutorial on the hair, so I'm just gonna give you guys a little mini sneak peek of how I do my hair if I don't have a lot of time, but still want it to look good with big, voluptuous curls. Once I let the curls set and cool, I always have to shake out my hair. That's really how I get my style. I just shake it out, and it ends up looking pretty good, especially if I add a little hairspray in there. So that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I love doing these videos, whether it's question and answers or makeup or travel, all that kind of stuff. I just have so much fun with it. So thank you for tuning in and I will see you next time.